Good morning, parents and students of Provo Elementary School. We are honored today to have a guest speaker, BYU coach Bronco Mendenhall. Wow, I'm glad I'm not a Cougar fan. Hooray, 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 hooray. It's a zippity doo dah Aggie day. And Dick Harmon is giving us some things from the BYU perspective. Uh, I, I'm joyed by this. This is music to my ears, but BYU Nation probably doesn't like it as much. It says it was almost dead silent in the BYU locker room after the game. This loss has been sobering to them. How can a loss be sobering to a team from BYU, which is by definition sober to start with? Uh, touche, Bob. Well, they're going to have a horrible season now. Hey, uh, great win tonight. It was nice to uh, hear the BYU fans sitting around me start to get awfully quiet after the first quarter and uh, then start making excuses for themselves. That's the BYU fans. The, the BYU fans, they show up with two layers of clothing and they they change depending on who's winning. At this point, uh, assuming Utah beats BYU, which on any planet that exists in the same reality I'm living in, they will. But yeah, this is just a great win and I just, I loved sitting right behind those Zubies, the Zuby players. And, uh, <laughs> to just hear their, their chatter and then they shut up after we freaking just dominated them. It was great. <laughs> hey, we haven't had a chance to say this yet. I wonder how ESPN feels about that contract right now. And I wonder how ESPN feels about that contract right now. I wonder how ESPN feels about that contract right now. I think uh, they're, they're a little uh, nervous with those Cougars. <laughs> I wanna, I, there were a couple tweets that came along that I, I thought were interesting. One from Stuart Mandel with Sports Illustrated. Oh, good. He sent out a tweet that said, Dear BYU, we're changing our minds. Love ESPN. <laughs> and then the other was the other was from David Locke, and it said, Independence brought to you by ESPNU. <laughs> Rising job, the Cougars are out of the coach's poll. <laughs> Ever seen the movie, uh, what is it, Dodgeball, where they have ESPN 8, the Ocho? That's where BYU football is going to be. <laughs> I mean, they're just going to go downhill. I want to say that, you know, the only time you go independent is because nobody wants you. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants you. Well, I'm glad BYU made that move to independent. You know, uh, lived in Salt Lake now for about 20 years since I left, and uh, have become kind of a closet Utah fan. Yeah, the one last thing I want to say, sit, I'm sitting in a pack of BYU fans up top and uh, it's just amazing how when they get down uh quickly they start reminiscing about uh, really the guy behind me started talking about the 1980 holiday bowl i don't know what it is with BYU fans but they start losing and they want to all reminisce and go back in time he talked about if austin collie was still here harvey yeah they had harvey and all, and all these what ifs what ifs what ifs the bottom line is that was utah state's number three and four running backs so it was ripping byu to shreds but it's uh, coach bronco of byu and he just tweeted, sitting on the team bus, Jake Heaps just threw a bottle of water to each of our wide receivers. They all dropped it. Figures. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't get to anything tonight. If you are a Cougar fan in the Cache Valley, still listening, back off the ledge. Don't you know that the Cougar, the, they're banned. They do popcorn pop on the country. I looked out the window and what did I see? Popcorn, yeah, whatever. Growing up, I was an avid uh, BYU fan. Um, and kind of flipping the switch a little bit. Kind of really like seeing the light. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Aggie Call, celebrating the Aggies win over BYU tonight. Again, that is the BYU fight song. <laughs> Classic. Meow, meow, meow.